Hello everyone and welcome to my very first solo on my own vlog on my own YouTube channel. Like what is happening? So for those of you who do not know me, my name is Jordan and my sister and I, Haley, actually created a YouTube channel like four or five years ago. We've posted so many videos on that channel. I'll link that below if you guys want to see any of them, but... I decided and we've actually both decided to venture out and start our own channels and I'm gonna start daily vlogging because why the heck not you guys? So it's Monday, July 29th, so day one of my daily vlogging and I figured this would be a perfect time for me to start because I'm actually, well me and Haley both are going down to San Luis Obispo for a little mini road trip to pick up our really good friend Taylor who is moving back so we're so excited. So I'm home alone right now. Haley's actually off getting a mud bath without me, like how dare her, but she's, pop she's probably vlogging in the whole experience as well so I'll share her channel because we both have our own channels now so yeah you can watch us both but anyways I'm at home I just got back from forever 21 I wanted to pick up a few things um, for our trip so I have a few cute things to wear so if you guys want to see like a clothing haul I've been doing some shopping lately so let me know but before I do anything, what am I gonna do? What am I doing? But I figured I would just kind of go through my night with you guys because hello, I'm a daily vlogger now. So I have a ton to do tonight. I don't even know where to start. I'm like procrastinating. You know those times where you have like 4 million things to do but you don't really wanna do any of them and then you'll start doing like pieces of all of them and then before you know it, nothing's getting done. So I don't know, we'll see what happens but I think, I think I'm gonna start with dinner because I feel like if I eat first, then I'll be able to just like relax and get everything together for the trip. I gotta pack and do all of that. But actually, let's do a quick little unboxing. I have been doing HelloFresh for the past few months. No, not sponsored, I wish though. If you're out there, HelloFresh, hit me up. But I just am the worst grocery shopper like of all time. So figured I would give it a try and it's actually, I'm gonna set you guys up here while I'm opening this box. It's actually been so helpful. This is not high enough. Let's try you here. No. Hmm. I don't know where to put you. It's actually been so helpful because I hate going to the grocery store and I just never know what to get. I always waste things. So I've been doing HelloFresh and I'm literally obsessed because I'm always trying new things that I literally would have never ever thought to get before. And I feel like an at-home chef. So I'm like, you know, doing all these gourmet meals. It's so easy. It literally comes with every thing that you need to make your meal, except for like salt and pepper and like butter and oil. But other than that, it literally comes with everything. So let me, let me show y'all. So this is the box that it comes with. And I'm sure you've seen this like all over Instagram because like it's all the rage here. So it comes in an insulated box. I'll show you the meals. Actually, I kind of screwed up this week because I forgot to pick my meals, but thankfully like it kind of tracks like your history. So um, I ended up with pretty good things. So we got a pork and veggie BB bomb. Be I don't know. You guys tell me what that says. I'm not sure, but it looks good. Also got some juicy Lucy burgers. This is always a hit. So I'm glad they sent this over. And then a bunch of healthy options this week. Chicken, pineapple, quesadillas, yum. So excited for that. So basically it has this like whole insulated box with like ice packs and everything. So if it's sitting in front of your apartment or your house or whatever for a few hours, it's totally fine. And then they come in these like little individually packed packages. So this one is the chicken, pineapple, quesadilla. So all of the ingredients are in here. And then, so I got my three meals, and you can get more than three, but three is where we're at right now. And then at the very bottom is where all the meats are, if you have any meats in your dish. So, yum. And I totally forgot that this was coming today, so I'm actually not cooking HelloFresh for dinner tonight. Go figure. Um, and plus, Haley's not home tonight, so whenever Haley's not home, I... We'll kind of try to figure something else out because these meals are for two people and they give you plenty, so I don't want to waste it. So I think for dinner tonight, I'm actually going to do some fish tacos. So I stopped at Whole Foods on my way home and I just got some wild caught Atlantic cod filet, yum. I have some mini flour tortillas. I've got some cabbage. I've got the whole situation, a ton of lime, obviously. So I think I'm just gonna get to cooking, getting my ingredients out. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna get to cooking right now and then I'm gonna start, what am I gonna do next? Maybe pack. I do have to do laundry, so maybe it'd be a good idea for me to throw my laundry in now while I'm cooking. 
Great angle. I know. If you guys are wondering about the fit, these jeans are from Misguided, 50% off sale. How cute are they? And then this is like OG. This is from Pac Sun from like, I don't know, two or three summers ago. But I'm getting um, dinner started, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of olive oil in my pan here, and I'm just gonna cook up my cod. I'm making fish tacos. I think I said that though, but yum. My pan hot enough? Let's see. That will do. And then I'm gonna be like extra bougie, of course. And I'm going to make a, a, I don't know, like a sauce. What is it called? I know what it's called. You guys know what it's, you know what I'm talking about? Like a sauce situation. Like an, like a aioli? No, that's not, you guys, I don't know what I'm trying to think, but I'm just gonna do a little bit of mayo. And then, hold up. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of mayo and then I'm gonna zest some lime in here. Okay, I feel like that's pretty decent. I'm also going to cut the lime and add the juice to my bowl. Good enough. Let me get a little fork to whisk. Actually, let's do some S&P as well. Ah! Salt, some pepper, that's a little hot. I'm just gonna whisk this up, get it all nice and mixed. You could even do this with sour cream too. Which I probably maybe should have actually now that I'm thinking about it. It's fine. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my cabbage mix. I'm gonna pop like, I don't know, it's probably enough. It's probably too much. Boom. And this is gonna be the topping for my fish tacos. How good is that, you guys? I learned this from HelloFresh, by the way. So like it actually teaches you how to be a home chef. I'm gonna pop this in the refrigerator to make sure it's nice and cold. So we are getting there with the fish. I'm gonna season it with some salt and pepper, maybe a little bit of cayenne because I like a little bit of a spicy moment here and then I'm gonna show you how I put them together when they're done cooking. Yum! How freaking delicious does this look? So obviously I'm finishing off with a shit ton of lime because that's my jam and then I'm gonna take my little I don't know cabbage situation that I mixed with my actually you know what yes this is what I'm doing I'm using my hands so whatever so this will be my little topping and boom! Dinner is served, but you know what? The only thing that is actually missing, I'll have to wash my hands. Hold, please. Um, hi, hello, yes, you. So this wine right here is called Benovia, and it's from a winery in, why am I sounding so stupid? So this right here was actually a gift from, you see it there, Andrew. He's actually one of my coworkers. I work at a winery here in Sonoma County. If you guys didn't know, fun facts. If you're ever out here, let me know. I'll show you a good time. But this is um, a wine that I kind of forced and coerced him to give me. He brought wine to one of my other coworkers and I was really upset that I didn't get wine. So he brought me, in his opinion, one of the best Russian over Pinot Noir. So we're gonna, we got a long night, so we're just gonna finish off that bottle. I'm gonna eat my dinner, and then we'll continue with my preparation for my little trip. All right, so I just finished dinner, which was amazing, by the way. I'm gonna start packing, and I'm gonna really, really try hard to not overpack, because like that is something I do every single time I go anywhere. So I'm just gonna start going through my closet. I'm gonna try to be realistic about everything that I'm bringing, but what I like to do is kind of just lay everything out on my bed. That way I can kind of get a clear picture of what I want. And actually I'll show you what I got from Forever 21 really quick today. I got this pair of really cute sandals. I literally have like no sandals. So, I mean, I don't know if I love this little detail right here, but they'll work. Also picked up a couple belts because belts are my new vibe. So I got one with silver hardware right here. These three little rings, which I thought was super cute. And then I got this belt right here, which just has like a little gold half circle situation. And then the two tops I got, which I thought would be so perfect for San Luis Obispo. This little, um, 
I was gonna say crop top. Well, it technically is a crop top, but it's a little tube top. It has this kind of little cute tie detail. So I love this, and it looks so good on, especially with high-waisted jeans. So I got that, and then this is similar, but different. This is just a little, um, another crop top, this yellow color. I've been like really into yellow for the summer. So I'm just gonna start by laying everything out, and then we'll kind of just see what happens from there. All right, so here's what I have going so far. I think I'm pretty much there. So I kind of have like outfit ideas like mapped out. So that way, like I know what's happening here. And I'm literally, this is probably even too much. We're literally going up there Tuesday night. We're getting there super late. So we're not gonna do anything Tuesday night. We will be there all day Wednesday and Wednesday night, but then we're coming home Thursday. So, I mean, I think I'm good here. Um, so yeah, I think I need to do like skincare and toiletries and all of that next. All right, so I'm starting to pack up all of my skincare and thankfully I have like every single thing I need in a travel size, which is so helpful and convenient. So whenever I'm packing up my skincare, like I would freak out if I forgot something. So I always just think about like the order in which I do things. So first thing I would do is take my makeup off. So I have the Green Clean um, Melting Cleansing Balm. This is from Pharmacy and I'm freaking obsessed with this stuff. So I guess next I would wash my face. So I have a few different cleansers. I'm probably going to bring the First Aid Beauty. They're just regular cleanser. I love this stuff. So I'm not gonna need these. I'm gonna set those to the side. Um, next I would probably do like a toner. So I have this Glow Tonic from Pixie, which is actually really, really amazing. So I have this in a little mini size. By the way, the makeup bag that I'm using is from Pixie. I'm pretty sure you can get this at Target, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so I also have two of these. I don't need that. I'm going to set that to the side. Okay, so where are we at? We just did some toner. I'm going to bring these two. These are the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. So they're kind of like the same concept of that Glow Tonic from Pixie, but I love these, so whatever, I'm bringing them. So next, I would probably do serum, and this one is from First Aid Beauty. It's their Ultra Repairing Hydrating ser Serum. Um, and then the only thing that I'm kind of missing from my mini skincare is, I guess, like an oil I might might actually bring one um, but I do have this little drunk elephant hydrating kind of like a uh, I guess it's another form of a serum so I'm gonna bring this too I got some eye cream so I'm gonna bring this it's from first aid beauty um, let's see what else I guess some face cream so I have three different options I'm actually gonna bring them all this is from fresh this is their rose deep hydration cream love this and then this is also from Fresh. This is their Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream. This stuff is iconic, you guys. Like, highly recommend trying this out. Um, and then I guess that's kind of it. And then I'm gonna move on to like my morning skincare. So I usually always go in with my cellar water. So I'm gonna bring this here. This is one of my favorites. Then I would do some eye cream. So got some eye cream here. That's from Ul Henriksen. Um, a toner. I actually have two of these. So I don't need to bring both of them, but this is a toner from Fresh, which I really love. I'm going to bring that. These are both two really good daytime moisturizer. This is the Nectar Vitamin Glow from Fresh, and this is their Youth Preserve Face Cream. So I'm going to bring both of those. Have to have an SPF, and I'm going to also bring this too. This is the Drunk Elephant Debronzy. So if we're going to go to the beach and I'm not going to wear makeup, I'll mix the SPF and the Debronzy, and it'll just give me like a really nice glow and coverage. Plus, it will protect my skin. I actually bring two... No, I don't need to do that. I'm crazy. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Okay, razor though is important. So I'm just about there. I actually need to find a suitcase or something. I need like a really cute, like kind of overnight travel bag. If you have any cute recommendations, let me know in the comments below. But I'm gonna get back to watching YouTube. I've actually been hooked on Erica Costell lately. So I'm sure most of you know her, but I don't know. I've been like obsessed with her vlogs recently. So I'm gonna binge watch her vlogs. I'm gonna continue drinking my wine i need to clean up too and then i'm gonna get all my stuff packed together and yeah we're things are happening i feel like we're covering so much in my very first debut vlog anyways i had to just show you guys this because i'm vlog happy right now and have to vlog everything that i'm doing this this right here is like the best invention ever i always used to use like a towel for my hair but you know everyone says it's like bad and breaks your hair and it's heavy blah 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 so this this apparently doesn't do any of that it's like healthy hi i forgot about you 
Um, I think these are from Sephora and I literally cannot remember the brand name, but I'll link it below, but it's just great. It's like this little towel situation. It has like a little button hook thing on the back. So you just like wrap your hair up and boom, 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 boom. All right, so I figured I'd kind of show you a little bit of my nail sticker situation. So let me go ahead and actually just flip the camera so I could show you what they look like. Here what they look like. They are from a company called Dashing Diva. We have like so many different colors and styles and variations. So I have no idea what I'm gonna do tonight, but I'm always into sparkles. So I'll probably do something like this. I honestly, this is my little nail box, by the way. I honestly don't have a lot of options. Oh, I have a brand new pack. Thank goodness. No, this is Haley's. Is this mine or just Haley's? No, these are Haley's. Um, I don't have a lot of options because I keep forgetting to order new ones, but I have these. So I'll probably do something like this. I don't know, but they're super, super easy to do. Basically, these are, like I said, stickers. And I don't know if I could even show you with like, <laughs> hold on. I don't know. Wait a second. Wait a second. Is there a way? Hold on. Hold up. Okay, so this, I don't know, is this a weird angle? Hold on, let me prop you. Boom. Okay, still kind of a weird angle, but let's just go with it. So here are the nail stickers. Like, honestly, this is, watch, like, literally. Like, they just peel right off. So first, you just start by removing them, and it's so easy to put them on. So let me remove them all. Let me, like, get through my process, and then I will show you guys, like, how this magic happens. So listen. I'm editing my vlog right now as we speak, like this very vlog that you're watching, and my very final ending clip just doesn't wanna play, I don't know. So I was going to show you how to do my nail stickers and how simple and easy it was, but they're already done and I can't go back in time. But I actually do think I have like a little Insta story that I put on the Haley and Jordan Instagram like a couple weeks ago. So if I do, I'll insert those clips here. Um, but if not, I'll just have to show you guys next time I'm vlogging how I do my nail stickers. But yeah, I'm all packed. So I'm just going to finish editing this vlog and then I'm probably gonna go to sleep and then I'll be vlogging the entire trip. So stay tuned for that. See you in the next one. Bye. Young money. And there you go.